We launched Emulator 1.5 here at NAMM 2015, and let me tell you a few things about the new features of Emulator 1.5. First of all, a completely touch interface for making your own amazing templates. So first of all, when you create a template, you put your name, your email, where you're from, you can attach your MIDI files now, you can put the name of your software, so Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic, whatever you're putting in there, you can name it your template, add some notes if you want, it automatically will tell you what resolution you're in, what scale it's in, what aspect ratio, so all of that is completed and you can share the, your templates on our community, so that's new. Second thing, we've added all touch capabilities, so if you wanna make a button, you touch the button you want to make, you drop it in, you move it where you want, resize it, and away you go. So no more do you have to need, need a keyboard and mouse. You may still want it for more advanced designs, but you don't need it anymore. You can actually make a button. Now we have six pages and two surfaces. So you've got page one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got two surfaces. So you could have a surface for Ableton, and then you could have a surface for Tractor and six pages each. So really, really cool stuff there. Um, some of the other things that are new, we've got uh, inertial sliders, which isn't new, but nobody was really using them. Inertial sliders are really amazing. So you can actually drop in uh, a slider right here, and you can actually change the physics of it. So if I turn off edit mode, so now I can use the button, and I can, if you notice, it's an inertial slider. So you can set the physics on that and how you want it to work. But now we've got also much mouse touch mode. So if you're using a mouse and you want to use it, you can actually use a mouse and keyboard now to use it rather than touch. So if you don't have a touch screen or you want to just make an interface and you don't have your touch screen with you, you can still do that and you can test it. There's a whole bunch of new features. Um, the, those are the biggest ones right now. Really, really powerful things. So if you look here, we've got a template that, uh, oh, sorry, we're in edit mode. So we'll take it out of edit mode. So now we're in performance mode. So we made templates for Ableton, different things that you can do. And the other cool thing that you can do with this is that you know, you can load different templates and really get into it and it'll save the templates where you need them. In here, load the templates, Tim Penner Music, Tractor Demo, load. And now you've got a complete new interface for Tractor. So obviously Ableton's running in the background, but everything else here is really, really amazing. All the new features add up to an experience that allows you to create your own dream interface for anything, for Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Nuendo, whatever it is you play on, whatever it is you perform or you produce on, you can make a template for, and that is the power of Emulator. Anything you want to make touch, use Emulator. You can drop images underneath buttons. It's really incredible, and one of the highlights of this show was from this guy right over here. Darius Hi, created. This is Darius. He created Reminisce, which is a custom Cubase template that has really set this world on fire at this show. We brought over the guys from Steinberg and they just went, wow! Everybody who's seen this template is blown away. And thank you to Tim Penner, who's over here. Tim created amazing, he created the Tractor template, created the Ableton templates for the demo. So we have a team now that is making amazing templates, but above and beyond what we're gonna do, we wanna see what you guys can do and what you're gonna do with this incredible software. So please, take a time, download the free trial, check it out, and see what you can do with your dream interface. Touchscreens are cheap now. Have a second service, you can have multiple services. Do what you want with it. Let us know, share it with the community, and we'll all grow this thing together. Thanks so much, I'm Alan at NAMM 2015. Peace.